So we have another epidemic. You might tell me, no, 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 brother, you don't have to physically fight. What's the other epidemic we have in our community, in our society? How do we determine who's the Rajal? How big is he, brother? We have a steroids epidemic now. Muslims, Muslims, Muslims. Ya Allah, steroid. Don't ask me halal and haram. But the sickness, the sickness. Have you ever heard of the sickness called the small man syndrome? Have you ever heard of this? Small man syndrome? No, you've never heard? Small man syndrome is the small guy who feels like all the bigger guys never take him seriously. So he starts doing things that are out of his character in order to show them that, look, I'm a man as well. They call this what? Small man syndrome. And qasam by Allah, 99% of brothers on steroids, it's all small man syndrome. It's insecurities in the heart. That if I don't look intimidating, if I don't look physically strong and muscly, I'm not a man. So brothers will be bench, you know, he'll bench press 100, 120, Allah alam what they're bench pressing. He'll bench press amazing weight and it's recorded and snapchatted. But the same brother cannot lift a blanket for Fajr. I was in the gym. Ah, uh, the, Wallahi, the same brother, yet can't lift up a blanket for Fajr. We have a steroids epidemic, steroids now. Everyone's Abishak Sheikh. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Everyone's on steroids, but no one says it. And we're supposed to all act like, oh, okay, be, you know, because you're not saying it and I'm not saying it, so therefore it's not happening. I see a brother today, he's a pencil neck. He leaves, six weeks later, he's got muscles on his ears and his nose. So I'm thinking, brother, yani, <laughs> tabarakallah, Allahu Akbar, how did you get so muscly? So, he's, so, now, so now he's trying to convince me, you know, because I'm the fat one. And therefore, I don't, you know, clearly I don't understand the gym. Brother, uh, uh, alhamdulillah, I've been eating well. Habibi, what are you eating? Yani? What, 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 are you, what are you eating that's put muscles on your ears and your nose, brother? T -t 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 tell me, tell me how. No, well, you, know, you, know, you know, brother, I've been eating tuna and rice. <laughs> so I'm thinking, brother, wallahi, I've been eating tuna and rice too. But how, yeah, 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 and how come? Ah, so we're all in denial. We're in denial. Small man syndrome to look big, to look intimidating. This makes me a man in the community. Ah, just before summer comes, now everyone hits the gym. Why? So when it's a hot day and I go to the you know, and I go to the beach at Bondi, and I take, look how shallow we've become, bro. Wallahi, it's embarrassing. But this is not new. This is not new. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, please, please live this with me, bro. The Prophet is walking in Medina. Imagine walking in Medina. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sees the companions, they've, they've gathered around a tree. But you know these stories, they, they, oh, don't you wish you were there? <laughs> what a time, man. So he sees them gathered around the tree, so he goes to the tree, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then when he gets there, he notices... Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Ever heard of this name, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud? Ya haram ala this ummah man. Brothers tell me, brother, I don't know what to name my son. Wallah, I want to rip my hair out when people tell me this man. So he comes to the companions and they've gathered around a tree. Imagine, imagine. So he comes to the tree and he notices Abdullah ibn Mas'ud hanging off the tree what happened was there was dates on the tree so the sahaba they said who's gonna climb the palm tree and get us the dates abdullah ibn masoud wasn't a very big guy in fact he was the opposite he was very skinny and he was very like he was very active he's very fit so abdullah says look i'll climb the tree and i'll get the dates now you need to leave this with me it was very common fashion for the Sahaba that they used to wear the lungi. You know the uh, the lungi. The, the what, what's it, what's it called? 
the uh, izar, izar is it? Yeah, like that skirt. Right, yeah, not like the one they have. This was very common fashion for the Sahaba. Very, very common. In fact, many of them, this was all that they would... And don't think that, you know, it's like today, wallah, they had these nice under armor boxer shorts under them. Yeah, no, no, no. They wore the izar, Habibi, there was nothing under there. Nothing under there. So when they said to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, you climb the tree and get us the dates, Abdullah had to lift his izar up to, yani, in order to climb the tree. So when you're down there and Haram, he's up there, they were seeing a bit more than what was intended. So what they were laughing and giggling. So the Prophet came sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said to them, what are you laughing at? Remember, remember? You know, sometimes you're laughing, it's funny. But when someone asks you, brother, what are you laughing at? It's hard to explain. So therefore the laughter is taken away and then it becomes very awkward. He said, what are you laughing at? What are you going to tell the Prophet of Allah? So he sallallahu what a time, man. So he looks at the tree and he finds Abdullah. He said, are you laughing at Abdullah's legs? They said, yes, O Prophet of Allah. Look how skinny they are. He said, I swear by Allah, the legs that you're laughing at are heavier than the mountain of Uhud in the eyes of Allah. Rajal, bro. A man. Not determined by steroids. Rajal. Men. Not determined by their ability to bully other people, man. But qualities. <laughs>